What's up everyone? Hope you're doing good. Today have I got something for you. Meat. A big old, I don't know if you quite call this a tomahawk, I think so. Usually tomahawks though they cut this off. But anyway, um, a really huge, look at this, three freaking inch thick USDA Prime because why would a sticker lie? Three pound, 3.12 pound ribeye. Look at this bad boy. Bigger than my hands. Well, can't really tell. Anyway, look at that beautiful marbling. So we can get some good light on that. Oh, yes. Yep, three pound steak. Or as real men call it, a snack. So anyway, we're going to sous vide this steak because honestly, I've been doing this for a long time. The best way to cook thick cuts is, is sous vide hand down unless you want to do the reverse sear method, which takes forever. And I don't know. It's just easier and very, very foolproof this way. So I'm going to sous vide it at 130 degrees for probably three and a half hours. I like to do, you know, an hour per inch plus 30 minutes, so three and a half hours should be just about right. Uh, but before I get somehow fit this monstrous steak and bone into a uh, vacuum bag, I'm gonna trim some of these really, really thick pieces of fat. I mean, that's not gonna render at all. I'm probably gonna trim this down a bit. It's just a huge inch thick cut of fat, and that's that's not gonna taste very good sous vide so I'm also going to trim along the bone make it look a little more like a cow or a tomahawk steak so anyway let's get started doing that and I'll see you back here in a second when I'm all done okay here we are all trimmed up I said I got a lot of the outside big chunks off before I, all you depression era wackos start saying oh my god save the beef tallow you gotta make soap or whatever out of it. No, that's not happening. I'm throwing it away. So, deal with it. Anyway, um, I'm going to get this in a vacuum bag here, which will be kind of difficult, but it should give it a nice, a nice beautiful uh, shape once we get it all in the vacuum bag. So, anyway, let's go there. Before I bag this up, i got to season it, but uh, it's going to be very simple seasoning today. Um, I'm just going to put quite a bit of salt on it. Just give it some nice salty flavor. Kosher salt. Nothing else at this time. I'll probably put some pepper on it afterwards. Maybe some garlic. I don't know. I'm going to finish this one on the grill actually because, well, my house is for sale and I don't want to create a big smoky stinky mess in my kitchen that's extremely cleaner than normal. So, yeah. So we're just going to Throw it on the grill and maybe uh, use the blowtorch and the grill combo. I don't know, I've always wanted to try that, so maybe that's what I'm going to do. So anyway, salt it up real good because that's going to penetrate into the meat during the cook. Give it a nice flavor. And it's not a super long cook, cook so you don't really have to worry about the salt giving it like a cured texture or anything like that. So let's get this bad boy in the bag. Beautiful. Look at this. Perfect. It's got a uh, good seal all the way around. Here we go. She must be waiting for the end results. Or maybe hoping for a spill. Alright, there we are. I will see you in, well, three and a half hours. We're all done. It's been about three hours. Not quite three and a half, but that's all right, as it's cooked just fine, nice and tender all the way through. So what we need to do now is get this out of the bag and uh, dry it off. So let's do just that. Man, that is a really, really heavy steak. <laughs> three pounds. And I'll throw a little bit more salt seasoning on there. And uh, then we'll get it. I'm gonna do, uh, my grill isn't super duper duper hot, so I'm gonna throw it on the grill and use 
the blowtorch at the same time. A bit of salt on there, like the salt that was in the comments of my burger video from people that don't know what the hell they're talking about. <laughs> and actually, I don't have anywhere enough salt for that. All right, let's get this outside and uh, grilling. Found it, there's the salt. All right. All right, we're here at the grill. It's a little over 500 degrees. Um, it's so dark outside, I need some extra flashlight lighting with these crappy cell phone lights. So anyway, I'm gonna get this on here. I'm gonna blow towards the top while I'm searing the bottom real quick. Then I'm gonna flip it over put it down for another minute or so and then sear the other side with the blowtorch and hopefully that gives it a nice brown crust. We'll see if that works. Just like this. It looks pretty good. Let's get it off the grill and back inside and cut it up. Okay, we are all done. The crust came out pretty good, all things considered. Um, like I said, I didn't want to like fry it up or anything like that just because, uh, oh man, it's so nice and tender. I don't know how the heck to cut up such a massive steak, but I'm just going to maybe get that nice crust. cooked perfectly all the way through. Got a tiny little bit of uh, nicely rendered stuff on top. Maybe even a little more than normal, but uh, hey, it came out great. Look at that juiciness coming out of the right side here. Awesome. Can't wait to try a little bite of this. So I had some technical difficulties like my uh, memory card filling up. Um, but anyway, this was uh, this was really good, really nice and tender. Um, you eat the the meat itself, and it had an excellent buttery taste. Just the salt was enough for it. Uh, eating it tonight. So anyway, thanks again for watching. Uh, if you're interested in any of the uh, things that I used in the video today, feel free to hit the uh, show more button in the video description. I'm sure most of the stuff's there. So uh, again, thanks so much, and I will uh, see you guys soon.